Tesla has not only demonstrated increasingly refined prototypes, with Tesla Optimus showing dexterity that rivals human hands and decision-making powered by the Dojo supercomputer, but it has also begun preparing a unique strategy to accelerate acceptance of this technology. Tesla's plan to provide trial versions of Optimus to nursing homes and universities represents a bold move that combines technology development with real-world social testing. The implications of this plan reach far beyond simple product marketing, suggesting a systemic transformation of how society interacts with robotics. So how will this plan be implemented? Stay with me. In just a minute, you'll see footage Tesla never released publicly. But before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now, you'll be the first to know the breaking news. At the core of this strategy is Tesla's conviction that the best way to validate Optimus is not through controlled laboratory conditions, but within authentic environments where human needs are complex and unpredictable. Nursing homes provide a perfect case study because they combine repetitive tasks, such as delivering meals or assisting with mobility with highly sensitive situations that require empathy and safety. Universities, on the other hand, create a setting where Optimus can be observed by some of the brightest young minds who can evaluate the robot not only as a tool, but also as a subject for research, experimentation, and innovation. By deploying Optimus in these environments, Tesla intends to stress test its design while simultaneously cultivating trust and curiosity among communities that will shape the future workforce and consumer base. In nursing homes, the demand for such assistance is immense. According to the World Health Organization, by 2030 over 1.4 billion people worldwide will be over the age of 60, and the number of workers available to care for them is shrinking. In the United States alone, the Bureau of Labor Statistics projects a shortage of over 1 million caregivers by 2035. Optimus is not designed to replace human companionship, but to reduce the physical strain on staff. Tasks like lifting patients, transporting laundry, delivering medication trays, or even gently reminding residents of daily routines could free nurses and aides to spend more time on emotional care. During trial deployments, Tesla intends to monitor how many repetitive tasks can be reliably offloaded to the robot. Early internal simulations suggest that one Optimus could handle up to 300 routine actions per day in a nursing home environment, equivalent to 30% of a caregiver's workload. If proven accurate, this could represent an effective labor multiplier in a field that is already overstretched. Universities offer a very different type of testing ground. Instead of simply replacing labor, Optimus here becomes a research platform. Tesla has already integrated Grok, its conversational AI model, into Optimus, allowing the robot to understand verbal instructions, with a latency of around 10 seconds before execution. This may seem slow compared to instantaneous human reactions, but within AI robotics, it is a remarkable benchmark. In universities, engineering students will be able to measure this latency, propose improvements, and create new task modules. For example, robotics labs at MIT or Stanford could use Optimus to test control algorithms, while psychology departments could examine how students react emotionally to humanoid assistance. Furthermore, Tesla's own dojo training network benefits from the immense flow of data produced by these trials. Every time a student asks Optimus to perform a task in a cafeteria or classroom, the robot's sensors capture millions of data points that refine hand-eye coordination, gait adjustments, and semantic comprehension. By distributing 100 units across academic institutions, Tesla could accumulate billions of interaction records in a single semester, exponentially faster than in any closed lab. The financial logic of these trials is equally important. For Tesla, the long-term vision is not to sell a few thousand robots, but to deploy millions. Elon Musk has repeatedly argued that Optimus could eventually be more valuable than Tesla's car business which generated over $96 billion in revenue in 2023. If a household robot can perform 5,000 small tasks per month and generate savings or productivity gains worth $5,000, then a $20,000 purchase pays for itself in just four months. While these figures are projections, the trial deployments allow Tesla to gather empirical data. In a university dining hall, for instance, Optimus might replace the labor of carrying 500 trays per day, equivalent to several part-time workers. In a nursing home, Optimus could reduce injury-related costs among staff by taking over heavy lifting, potentially saving thousands of dollars annually in insurance premiums. These real-world numbers will be critical, 
in convincing skeptical investors and institutional buyers that Optimus is not science fiction, but an economically rational purchase. Beyond economics and engineering, the psychological aspect of this trial strategy cannot be ignored. Robots historically face resistance when introduced into intimate human environments. A survey conducted in 2022 showed that 40% of Americans were uncomfortable with the idea of humanoid robots providing elder care. By placing Optimus in nursing homes with full transparency, Tesla seeks to counter these fears through demonstration rather than persuasion. Families who see their relatives being safely assisted by Optimus may begin to associate the robot with dignity and support rather than cold automation. Similarly, students who grow accustomed to interacting with Optimus on campus may later advocate for its use in workplaces and homes. Tesla's understanding of social adoption mirrors the strategy it employed with electric vehicles, where skeptical drivers were converted once they experienced the acceleration and cost savings firsthand. Tesla's execution of the program will follow a carefully structured plan. First, selected institutions will apply to receive Optimus trial units, demonstrating both need and capacity to provide feedback. Tesla will then deliver the robots along with on-site support teams who can troubleshoot hardware and software in real time. Each robot will be connected to the Tesla cloud, allowing engineers in Palo Alto to monitor performance, push updates, and collect anonymized usage data. Importantly, Tesla insists that all data will be handled under strict privacy guidelines, particularly in sensitive healthcare settings. Trial durations are expected to last between 6 and 12 months, after which institutions can decide whether to purchase units at a discounted rate or return them. Tesla gains not only testing data, but also a pipeline of early adopters who may become long-term customers. The scale of hardware deployment required for such a program highlights Tesla's confidence in its manufacturing process. Unlike most robotics companies, Tesla already operates gigafactories capable of producing hundreds of thousands of complex machines per year. By leveraging production techniques honed in the electric vehicle sector, Tesla can build Optimus robots at a cost far lower than startups. Early industry estimates suggest that Tesla could achieve economies of scale that bring per unit costs below $15,000 if production exceeds 100,000 robots annually. The trial program, while free to institutions, is therefore not financially reckless, but a calculated marketing and development expense that Tesla can afford thanks to its industrial base. As this initiative unfolds, broader societal questions will inevitably emerge. If robots like Optimus prove capable of significant labor substitution in caregiving and education, what becomes of the human workers displaced? Tesla argues that Optimus is meant to complement, not replace, human labor, performing the repetitive or physically demanding tasks so that humans can focus on creativity, emotional support, and decision-making. Nonetheless, policymakers will need to consider regulations, training programs, and ethical standards. The deployment in universities is particularly strategic here, because it encourages the very generation that will inherit these questions to begin grappling with them now. Instead of fearing automation, students may learn to design careers that integrate human uniqueness with robotic assistance. By the time the trial program concludes, Tesla hopes to have demonstrated several critical achievements. That Optimus can reduce measurable workload in nursing homes by at least 25%, that universities can develop new research modules using the robot's open API, and that both environments report high satisfaction among staff and residents. If these targets are met, Tesla will have laid the foundation for mass adoption. Imagine by 20, 30 thousands of nursing homes around the world equipped with Optimus units, each performing thousands of tasks per week, collectively transforming elder care. Imagine universities where students train alongside humanoid robots, making robotics literacy as common as computer literacy today. These visions are not speculative fantasies but plausible outcomes if the trial program produces convincing evidence. The story of Tesla Optimus is therefore not just about robotics, but about a company leveraging its manufacturing power, data infrastructure, and bold marketing strategy to accelerate societal transformation. The robots learn, the people observe, and the company collects data that refines the next generation of machines. Just as Tesla once used Tesla EV models as a proof of concept for electric cars, it now uses Optimus in community trials as proof of concept for humanoid robotics. The stakes are even higher because the market for human-like labor is far larger than the transportation market. In the end, whether Optimus becomes as common as a smartphone or remains a niche technology will depend largely on how these trial deployments are perceived. 
If families see Optimus treating elders with safety and respect, if students experience Optimus as a helpful collaborator rather than a competitor, and if institutions record tangible economic benefits, then society may welcome humanoid robots as naturally as it once welcomed computers into classrooms. Tesla has bet that real-world trials are the key to unlocking this acceptance. The plan is audacious, expensive, and fraught with challenges, but it is also visionary. In a world facing demographic crises, labor shortages, and educational demands, the promise of a reliable humanoid assistant could indeed redefine what it means to live and work alongside machines. Tesla Optimus, once a bold announcement on a stage, is now walking into the places where it will matter most. And in doing so, it is teaching us not just what robots can do, but how we might live with them in the decades to come. So, how does this latest update improve your home? Don't click away. In the next 30 seconds, I'll show you Tesla's most secret update about Optimus. Before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now. You'll be the first to know the breaking news. The backbone of this upgrade is connectivity. A typical household today has between 14 and 25 connected devices, ranging from lights, locks, air conditioners, and cameras to sensors and smart plugs. Optimus serves as both a participant and a coordinator, speaking the universal IoT languages while leveraging Wi-Fi 6-6E for high bandwidth needs. This ensures interoperability across brands and reduces latency between devices. The difference is crucial. A motion sensor triggering a camera and smart lock within 10 milliseconds can be the line between a timely alert and a missed intrusion. Tesla's architecture emphasizes on-device processing. Decisions such as unlocking the door for a recognized family member, switching off a stove when overheating is detected, or closing blinds under harsh sunlight all happen locally. Only anonymized summaries leave the home, maintaining privacy while optimizing performance. What makes Optimus powerful inside the smart home is not just communication, but context awareness. Unlike traditional if-this-then-that automation, Tesla Optimus employs probabilistic habit learning. It studies repetitive patterns such as wake-up times, lighting preferences, dinner schedules, or evening phone charging habits. Within two weeks, it begins suggesting routines with measurable savings. For example, combining occupancy data with calendar schedules can reduce air conditioning runtime by 30 to 40 percent per day while still keeping wall surface temperatures within the comfort zone. For a household with three independent AC units, this translates to saving 140 kilowatt hours per month. In regions where electricity costs are high, this is a significant financial benefit. Beyond cost, habit learning optimizes everyday routines. Curtains open one-third at sunrise to prevent glare, coffee starts brewing when you enter the kitchen, and the water heater reaches your preferred temperature just in time for your shower. These small, precise interventions reduce morning tasks by half while retaining manual override through voice, gesture, or mobile application. Security is another domain where Optimus shines. Traditional smart cameras are notorious for false alarms from pets or tree shadows. V3.5 reduces these false positives by 60 to 80 percent in daylight and 40 to 60 percent at night by combining multimodal perception, video, audio, and vibration sensors. Its layered role-based access control ensures that locks only disengage when multiple factors – face, voice, and smartphone proximity – are confirmed. False unlocks are reduced to less than 0.1%. When suspicious movement lingers near the property, Optimus activates subtle deterrents like low-intensity lighting and records encrypted video clips. Importantly, Optimus explains alerts in natural language, instead of just motion detected, it specifies adult-sized figure approaching front door from sidewalk at 1.2 meters per second without registered device. This level of transparency allows for faster, more accurate decision-making. In a 30-day field test with two dogs and a tree-filled yard, alerts were reduced from 100 to 38 with only four unnecessary notifications. Support for elderly residents is designed around safety, dignity, and privacy. Optimus tracks medication routines, hydration habits, and mobility patterns. Subtle interventions, like turning on anti-slip lights in a humid bathroom, happen proactively. Fall detection reaches over 95% accuracy with under 10 seconds delay for remote alerts. When physical support is needed, Optimus uses force-limited assistance, capped at 12% of maximum hand strength, with safety harnesses to prevent injury. It can also function as a slow, secure mobility aid moving at under 0.6 meters per second in narrow hallways. 
these design choices ensure genuine support without creating new risks. Importantly, Optimus processes all biometric data locally, with strict guest and private room modes that disable unnecessary monitoring. Video leaving the home is end-to-end -end encrypted and deleted after seven days by default. Energy autonomy is key to all-day usefulness. Optimus features a 2.3 kilowatt-hour battery pack, providing enough power for 10 hours of mixed household activity. Average consumption is 200 watts, with peaks of 500 watts during heavy lifting up to 30 pounds. Integrated with Tesla Powerwall or solar systems, Charging can be optimized for off-peak or surplus solar hours, raising renewable self-consumption rates from 45% to over 60% in households with 8 kilowatt solar arrays. In practice, Charging Optimus consumes only 18% of a standard 15 kilowatt hour home battery. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.